Ken Whiting with Paddle TV, and in this episode of Paddle Tales, well, my wife Nicole and I are playing hooky, taking the day off work and going to explore a remote corner of a body of water that has played a huge role in our lives, the Ottawa River. Paddle Tales is brought to you by Wilderness Systems, NRS, Aquabound, Wiley X, and Outdoor Play. So we are on the banks of the mighty Ottawa River. This is a river that has played a huge role in the lives of both Nicole and I, and uh, mostly from the whitewater side. This is an area or a section of the river that draws whitewater paddlers from around the world. It's truly world class, but the Otto River has incredible diversity and there, there's so many different adventures to have here. And we're gonna do a flat water adventure exploring a cool little back channel that not many people get to. And while we're doing that, we're gonna be testing this sucker right here. This is the Wilderness Systems 130T, which stands for tandem and that means Nicole and I are going to be paddling the same boat together, which we do not do very often, so I'm not sure if it's the best idea, but what I do know is we're going to see, we're going to see a spectacular corner of the Ottawa. And so let's get to it. Well, come on down, your chariot awaits. Nice. Paddling has always played a huge role in the relationship between Nicole and I. You know, we met on the river. We made home along the river and we both worked on the river. The river has been a huge part of our lives. And so it's always been really important for us to go on paddling adventures, river adventures together. And sometimes it takes a little bit more effort these days to get Nicole to uh, drop everything and pick up a paddle. But I do know that she's always happier when she does, and so am I. Ken has a tendency to, to hook me into an adventure. Uh, and of course, it's always a surprise. So I don't really know if it's going to be let's paddle for 50k or if it's going to be nice and chill and relaxing but i always jump on the opportunity because we're both so busy i wasn't expecting something too kind of out there and strenuous so i was i was excited and just to spend time with them too on the ottawa river which is so meaningful for both of us the ottawa river is it's a big river and in in fact, in many cases, it looks more like a lake than a river, it's so big. The adventure we're on today is taking us about 10 minutes away from home. But surprisingly, it's a place I haven't visited for about 14 years. The last time we, we paddled this section was, I think, yeah, 14 or so years ago, and I forgot how sheltered this section was. So even just crossing the main flow of the Otto River, which is so wide, so you're a little bit more exposed. And as soon as you enter into the mouth of the section, it just completely calms down. So all you hear is just your own paddle strokes through the water, the birds chirping, dragonflies buzzing around you. So it just immediately just sets the tone for, for the experience. I love how much life is in this yeah. area. Yeah, place is alive. It is. Makes my heart happy. Most of our paddling trips on the Otto River over the years have been whitewater trips because it's got world-class whitewater. 
but it really does have so much more to offer. And it, it's easy to lose sight of the fact that sometimes the best adventures are literally in your backyard and you can get caught up and thinking that you have to travel to have a genuine, really cool paddling adventure, but that's not the case. I think it is really important and we are fortunate enough to have this resource so close to us that we can do it. The adventure we're on today is a little different than most of the adventures that Nicole and I go on because we're doing it in a tandem kayak and not in our own kayaks. Now, tandem kayaks have been called divorce boats and for good reason because they can cause some serious conflict between people but that only happens when people go into a paddle without respecting the fact that you can both be out there for different reasons and as long as you respect the fact that you get different things from the paddling experience and you're not just going out there for your experience, you're going there for a shared experience, then tandem paddling can be such an incredible way to have an adventure together or just have a moment together. When Nicole and I paddle, we go out for a lot of the same reasons, but we also have some different reasons. I tend to be, I like the adventure. I like challenging myself and Nicole does too, but she also likes to make sure she takes time to chill out. I, had, I don't, didn't really have as many reservations as Ken did because I know my role in this situation and that's to let him paddle. So that was fine. This was a great watercraft to do both. I got to paddle and I also got to relax. So uh, that was really cool. I should probably just put away my, my paddle. <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> I, now that I've rested, yes, I feel rejuvenated yes. and energized. You and look I, rejuvenated. Yeah, I know, right? So <laughs> we can get going. I love the flexibility of this kayak for that reason. I mean, sit down and have lunch, just take a break, chat a bit face to face, and then move right back into, let's go double up the paddle speed and actually start to explore a lot more of the river. Off we go. Onward. Well, this beats work. What work? <laughs> <laughs> what work? Although this is your work. So I don't know how it's a day off for you. <laughs> yeah. It's more of a day off for me. Every once in a while, Nicole and I will just break free. Break free of life, <laughs> break free of all the responsibilities that we each have and go on an adventure. And the great thing about where we live, adventures are so easy to come by. They're all around you. You just have to really choose the right one. Well, that's why we live here. We, sometimes we feel like we're taking it for granted, but at the same time, that's what also makes it our home because we know it's here whenever we need it. The river can always fill our desire, whether it's I want to go have an exhilarating experience or I just need time to take a time out and just relax and just, it's just about being together and about enjoying my surroundings and the water. Today's had a really cool feel on the water. The wind has been really calm. It's been, it's been really moody. The sun hasn't been out. It's, it's been drizzling even a little bit on and off, but it's just been absolutely gorgeous. When it's like this, you, you, you hear all the birds very clearly. You get to see everything under the water. It's a much more intimate paddling experience. And we're not trying to cover miles. We're not trying to go on this big epic adventure. We just, we're just happy to be out on the water together. I'll just get stuck. <laughs> oh, oh, is it deep enough? Yeah, I think so. Maybe we should get out of the grass. Well, the sun is starting to go down and the wind has picked up a little and so it's getting a bit chilly. It's time to move on, but it's been a great day. It's been, we haven't gotten out paddling enough over the past year. And so it's great to do it again. And it's great to do it in, in a tandem kayak. My appreciation for tandem kayaks overall has, has been renewed. And on that note, I am gonna be doing a full review of 
the Wilderness Systems Targa 130T. I will leave a link in the description box down below. And so otherwise, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and stay tuned because we got lots more paddling tips, paddling gear reviews and paddling adventures coming your way. Well, homeward bound. That's good. All right. Less talk and more paddling, right? <laughs> You've been slimed. Oh, I just got slimed.